Welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host, Shaheen. In uh, today's video, we are definitely going to look at Bitcoin and Japanese yen against US dollars. Um, there was uh, I wanted to do this for a while, but uh, I was just a little being too passive. So um, I spent this morning analyzing uh, Bitcoin against US dollar and Japanese yen against US dollar. We have seen, uh, I mean, I have seen particular very very interesting um, price structures price patterns and we are going to discuss those analysis one by one first of all before discussing um, uh, Bitcoin I want you uh, to show you guys uh, a pattern called this is Dow Jones and we are talking about monthly data time frame and uh, this chart is going as back from 1980 uh, give me a moment please I do not have bought the subscription on uh, trading views yet so ads so here's here's the uh, the chart that going down back for a good while and I wanted to, to point out to this particular pattern in the middle uh, right over here wave A wave B and wave C this is very very deadly pattern but this is also uh, a pattern which is uh, good enough for you know, getting people ready for the next uh, eruptive eruptive uh, price movement uh, impulsive so I it looks to me right now that we are looking towards a similar pattern in in Bitcoin as well we have definitely seen wave A and we have seen wave B which is very very long enough um, so the whole reason I was uh, not I was not ready to forecast is because wave B has passed gone way before uh, the the end of wave A it has exceeded uh, to uh, the wildest imagination and that's what I'm thinking right now so I'm right now thinking that this whole price movement is wave A and wave B as you guys can see as part of my analysis I was thinking it bef uh, before but I didn't want to just share it because the mere um, the size of wave B as compared to wave E is unbelievable wave A uh, let's say ended at 20,000 and then wave B went over all over to uh, 69,000 70,000 whatever it is so I'm right now expecting that we are, uh, it looks to me uh, that as per Elliott Wave analysis and, uh, and some other studies that I have done, it looks to me that we are expected to go uh, downward. Uh, and uh, this is the main, uh, main fear that I'm expecting for the bulls. If you're interested in bullish Bitcoin, I'm expecting that I've seen this is in history um, that every every major impulsive uh, structure always uh, gets followed uh, by a corrective pattern and those corrective patterns uh, are excellent for people to join into the markets uh, but if they are taken at the wrong time they become deadly uh, deadly that it's uh, just leaves a big scar on on the trader because these patterns are long enough in terms of uh, time we can see the Dow Jones that pattern went for 10 years, 8 years, 9 years uh, and we can see that this pattern actually started if I'm right in my analysis this pattern started back in uh, 2017 so it will be good for uh, 5, 6 years by the time it ends and what I, what is uh, actually giving me an indication toward it uh, you can definitely uh, say that uh, I'm wrong definitely said what is actually pushing towards this is not the flag pattern don't worry about the flag pattern but this happening on a daily time frame the importance of this pattern happening on a daily time frame here we can see is is significant is is significant it's telling us something that the uh, the trend is is bearish we are seeing a bearish uh, flag I was of the point initially that we probably will uh, probably see a b c and go up uh, but instead of we are seeing right now that this pattern is happening so I mean the pa the up the top I was expecting to happen probably has already happened right over here too so as soon as this pattern becomes broken and uh, that will be the confirmation and uh, that we are looking to go down we have seen some uh, price behavior which is negative already and that you can uh, see right over here too that we already have kind of uh, this support that's broken let me bring that in so we can see that the support is already broken on the diagonal C and we kind of retested that as well so this is also giving an indication that probably support is broken on timely frame but we shall be waiting for the the 
the break of the flag itself once that occurs definitely we are heading downward so mm, downward moment it could actually go to ten thousand dollar it can go to uh, five thousand uh, dollars because the larger pattern is uh, is what already shared with you guys on a monthly time frame ah give me a headache So this is what I'm looking for. In, in when it when the price fall in that matter, pointing to the exact bottom would become a little difficult. But I think the major uh, trend in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency remains bearish. We need to understand that we are looking at uh, stock market as a whole as a bearish, and I think uh, because Bitcoin is a lot riskier, and the other stock market, uh, Nasdaq, S&P 500, Dow Jones are considered more stable. So normally what happens is that when uh, a problem occurs in the in the stock market, normally people sell their uh, more riskier assets to get into the more safer, comparatively safer um, instruments. And I think that we could probably looking towards that. So in short, I'm expecting on a daily time frame that uh, we shall wait for the confirmation of the of the break. We shall wait for the confirmation of the break right over here. And uh, this pattern that's occurring on a daily time frame is giving us an indication that we should be looking uh, more bearish instead of being uh, bullish. Once again, when price falls back, we have another resistance coming to us at $28,000. And then a uh, break below $28,000 will also be very, very interesting. A um, couple of things that I want to add, one more thing that I want to add that once the prices fall below this pattern and fall in this range there is a possibility that we will see quite uh, a lot of noise being generated in this area so if you are interested in taking a trade uh, make your mind uh, I'm bearish on Bitcoin and uh, I'll try to include this analysis in our uh, future uh, weekly analysis as well so once again if uh, it will be really helpful if you pay attention towards the Dojon uh, weekly uh, I mean monthly time frame analysis here we can see that this this pattern was deadly and uh, we got a confirmation as long as we can see the break of uh, the diagonal happen in B we got a confirmation and then that's what we saw so 10 years later we can see that the we were still at the same point six seven years eight years later I hope I literally hope that Bitcoin falls as much as we uh, I'm, I'm forecasting that will be a very beneficial for people who have missed it and they can join it there will be a lot of fear uh, when P actually Bitcoin drops that much because we are looking towards uh, bad fundamentals and we're looking toward um, break of stock market for an extended period of time uh, the second request that I've received uh, is about Japanese yen and I want to share a very very stunning um, chart that I have found on uh, TradingView uh, it's, it's, a, it's a monthly time trading view, a monthly time frame chart, and uh, let's see where it is. Not this one. Let me see. Uh, sex or not? Not this one. Oh yeah, this is the one. Now this is a beautiful picture. Beautiful picture. The most stunning uh, picture that you can see on Japanese Zen. It is telling us a very, very interesting story. Uh, it is telling us the major trend in Japanese yen against US dollar is giving us an indication that Japanese yen had been uh, strengthening for a very good while from 1975 to 1976. I think there is uh, a little more data behind that too, which is not visible to us definitely, um, but still a lot of data. So it's a good amount of about, you know, 25, 45 years. 25 plus 20 about 45 47 years uh, worth of data and when you look at all this it gives you an it gives you you can clearly tell from the top that the major trend has been down has been bearish uh, keep in mind that if you're looking for USD G JPY and uh, not JPY USD so you want to point out um, I am not going to uh, share the uh, the labeling of this whole movement. I am pretty confident that I got it right because everything is fitting in right. Uh, the good news is that if you think that you have missed the the trade in in Japanese yen, don't worry about it. It looks to me that we are getting very very close uh, to the end of this 
uh, Price Movement and I believe that as soon as uh, this structure is complete we are heading downward so let me try uh, let me say that again as soon as this structure is complete the major trend which is bearish and we can see that from 50 years of uh, data is that we are going to be bearish in the Japanese Gen uh, I'm expecting that Japanese Gen would get stronger as compared to uh, US dollar uh, because we're looking for uh, a chart in which the more a price drops downward uh, it will be giving an indication that Japanese Gen would be getting stronger not getting weaker uh, so this is the important uh, chart that I wanted to show you guys before we can actually enjoy it further let me uh, see if we can let me close this let me close this and uh, we can go back to the daily time frame ah pain in ass alright before I actually can go on to daily time frame I want to indicate because uh, just showing the chart is not giving us a trading opportunity alright so we want to see where we can find a trade so if you look at the chart right now I've zoomed into the in this whole cycle uh, or the wave that went into top and correction and other top uh, we can see clearly if you look at the whole structure on a weekly time frame we can clearly see that the resistance is occurred right over here too and the next resistance is right over here alright so we can mark it and then we'll discuss more so this is the second resistance and this is another resistance there is a possibility if just in case prices actually cross that so now we have uh, two resistance points we have 135 and 147 we are all well aware that uh, this price movement that actually started right from over here is very very close uh, to the, the end point and so we have that uh, information in mind now we can actually look at a weekly uh, uh, at a daily time frame and it will give us some help so first of all I want to point out impulsive corrective impulsive corrective impulsive corrective and we have seen no doubt an impulsive movement I'm expecting that there is still more price uh, movement left in uh, in Japan region to go up uh, so I am expecting I am bullish on uh, on Japanese and that will be actually become bearish right that will give us an indication that we are expecting more weakness in Japanese yen not being bullish so but I can say that I'm bullish on the chart well you get you, you get the point right I hope so so let me s before we can simply say that it's gonna go up it's a it's at a time where we cannot simply take a trade right over here too I have given you guys the target which is 135 and what I'm looking right now I'm looking right now at an uh, let's see if you can see the uh, data on hourly time frame all right so while I'm bullish at this point the point here is that I am will not willing to take a trade to take a trade uh, for prices to move higher I am waiting for the I'm gonna wait for the price pattern to give me an entry point and that entry point is a possibility that we can actually see that entry point if the prices come all the way right over here and giving us an indication that we have we have a B and C all right if that happens and there is a chance that we have more price movement to go upward in that case the target would be 135 keep in mind that we are at the tail end of the whole movement and that's why that's the whole purpose of uh, showing you guys the monthly time frame uh, analysis which went back to uh, 1975 1976 and that was the reason I showed you guys the weekly time frame analysis so here is the monthly analysis it gives you an idea that we are in a bearish uh, bearish trend on the chart giving us an indication that Japanese gen is getting stronger and stronger and there is no indication um, that the trend is changed till actually it changes simple is that all right and believe me I have done some more analysis into it and all of that is indication and giving us an indication that we are very very close to the uh, the end of this trend this bullish trend that has happened uh, or the bearish weakness uh, or the weakness of the um, Japanese yen 
and as soon as that weakness is complete we are very very close to it and then the main trend would resume which is uh, making Japanese yen stronger against US dollar uh, this is uh, bad news for people in Pakistan and India I'm not sure about India if they are driving too much Toyotas but Pakistan we drive a lot of Toyotas in Pakistan so bad news for the new car owners <laughs> Mm, what I'm looking right now, we have seen monthly time frame analysis. Once again, you can clearly see from the chart that we are bearish on a uh, on the chart. We are bullish on the Japanese yen, and uh, weekly chart giving us an indication that the uh, the corrective pattern that actually started right from over a year is very close to the completion. We can see already that prices went in this area and bounced off. They found support in the range right over here. They found support right over here they moved up right over here and now the next target uh, beyond this one uh, is this next top which is 135 and keeping that in mind if prices can actually crash through 135 in that case our target would be 147 less likely to happen though less likely to happen but the main target in each of your in near future is 135 looking at that we can actually go to the the daily time frame it gives us some clue that okay we can see uh, from here that we have impulsive corrective impulsive corrective impulsive corrective impulsive and we should wait for the corrective pattern uh, let me bring right over here and we can see that better on an hourly time frame right over here too so if the prices falls back can yeah, give here double bottom right over here in that regard 121 I would be going long if this price behavior continues up what I wanted to see actually is uh, and that's why it just uh, hit my mind I wanted to see if that uh, support line lies in at a very important top okay let's get back to the weekly time frame okay so yeah it does actually exist all right because the resistance is right over here in that case 125 the immediate resistance and so far we have a support uh, this one is very important but I was looking if the 121 is important in a in this range but it does not see that it's important in this range so we can uh, see that we can focus that on our hourly time frame and if that happens the prices fall back at 121 our target upside would be 135 if it does not happen we are gonna wait for the prices to carry on in that case we won't have a trade because uh, we are very very close to the completion uh, of a of a of a trend that will reverse very closely uh, we'll, we'll discuss that I'll keep an eye on Japan Yen. I'll keep an eye on Bitcoin in our uh, next week's analysis as well and uh, so wish you good luck have a good one and bye bye